Hey everybody. So today I wanted to give people that follow me on Instagram and Reddit and other places that possibly saw what was going on or maybe heard what was going on, just wanted to give everybody a quick update. So not too long ago I was heading down to a race in Colorado Springs when a deer kind of stepped out in the interstate in front of the CRX while I was driving and being the interstate I wasn't able to stop in time. So there was some damage to the CRX that on first look, I thought it was pretty severe. Um, so the hood and the hood support bracket radiator 100% were damaged and no longer good. And what I had thought happened is I thought the radiator support frame underneath here was damaged and pushed inward just with how the headlights were sitting. But once I started to kind of get into it, what I realized is it actually wasn't quite as bad as I had thought. So the radiator frame underneath here is actually in good condition. That wasn't affected at all. And all that was really affected, um, besides the hood, the hood support, and the radiator, was the support here, the frame for the headlights. So I was planning to actually take everything out of the CRX and swap into Thunder Muffin. So originally wanted to finish out the season with Thunder Muffin over here and get the engine from Banana, swap it into here and finish the time attack season and so a couple of track day events with Thunder Muffin the, this way. But once I started to see that the CRX wasn't as bad as I thought, uh, it actually didn't quite make sense to go through that whole ordeal anymore. So what I did is I borrowed the hood and the hood support and the radiator from Thunder Muffin, moved it all over to the CRX, and kind of have everything lined back up. So I need to get the bumper back on, finish filling up the coolant, get that bled, and do a quick oil change. So what's kind of funny about the accident is, I'm not exactly sure how it happened, but the oil cap actually broke off, and there's some, whoops, whoop, there it went. So there's a couple of pieces inside here that I'm fishing out, so doing a valve cover gasket with that whole ordeal, really not a big deal, but working on that now. What had me thinking that the radiator support frame and the hood was enough to call it quits is the rear of the car has some damage from the previous owner. So I was kind of filming a little segment about that when I was putting together the video on how I was going to take everything out of here and put it into Thunder Muffin. So there is still that damage in the rear that I'll have to get addressed at some point. But since the front is an easier fix than I thought, it's not quite worth writing off yet. So I'll just go ahead and finish fixing the damage from the deer and you can see our very fancy matte black hood with the oil stain from when we were doing the AC swap or AC delete. That's the plan now is just get this back on the road and racing. I've got uh, a couple events planned, SCCA time trials. And then I'm actually gonna be doing grid life uh, Alpine Festival at Pikes Peak International Raceway. So I want to get this thing back up to, and running for those events. And at some point we'll probably just take it to a uh, body shop and get that repaired. So what got me hooked on this whole track idea is I actually just recently went down to New Mexico and raced with garage built Hondas doing the ASR Super Lap. So it's fun compared to autocross in that you got to go at much higher speeds and there's shifting and downshifting involved and all that on top of cornering and also the long straights, which is a different experience. Didn't go the best though. I did have a little bit of an off track excursion, which was a little rough. But overall the car did really well driving down there and back. Just had to replace an alternator um, kind of in the middle of the night but just really excited to get this back up and running and we're gonna test it out at autocross this weekend before doing any 
track events and just make sure all the pieces stay on and nothing flies off, which I think they frown upon. So thanks for tuning in. I uh, just wanted to give everybody a quick update that saw what had happened or heard. And for those that don't know uh, or haven't been following, um, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date if you want to see what's going on with the CRX. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.